Hello, everyone, and welcome to the electronic scoreboard for time travel baseball. I've loaded up the 1907 Cubs uh, with a record of eight and three against the 1995 uh, Braves, who have a record of four and seven. And Steve Avery's on the mound for the Braves, and he has a record of one and one. And Carl Lundgren is on the mound at 2-0 for the 1907 Cubs. So here's our first pitch. It's a nine off the batter's card, and it's a sharp ground out for Jimmy Slagle. Brings up Jimmy Shecker with an eight off the pitcher's card. That's a ground out. And an eight off the pitcher's uh, batter's card, and that's a ground out. Marquise Grissom with a five, and he struck him out. Chipper Jones. Chipper Jones with a six off the batter's card, and he walks. Fred McGriff, the newest member of the Baseball Hall of Fame, seven off the batter's card, and he high flies out. And David Justice with a 5-5 five five off the batter's card. That's a short single with a chance for a steal. Let's see if he gets the opportunity on a short single. Runners advance one base, two outs, a daring runner. I don't think Chipper's going to be daring, so that's a one base advance. Two outs for Ryan Klesko on a five off the batter's card, and he walks. The bases are loaded for Javi Lopez. Seven off the pitcher's card as a gamble card. Uh, the gamble card, bases loaded, says strikeout. Uh, star catcher. Picks a runner off a third base for a double play. But all we needed was the strikeout, and the inning's over. Top of the second. 11 off the batter's card is a short single, and we're going to have a steal attempt for Frank Chance, who is a daring runner. So we already have a single, and we're going to do a steal. And let's get a fresh roll. And it's a seven, so we're going to roll the dice. And for a daring runner, he gets plus three in my rules. And then uh, the catcher will get uh, plus two. So the catcher's roll is a seven against a five. So he, he throws him out. Javi Lopez throws um, Frank Chance out trying to steal. But we'll give Frank his... Uh, Single, and then take him off the bases and add an extra out. Brings up Harry Steinfeld with a six off the pitcher's card. That's a strikeout. And an eight for Joe Tinker off of a uh, pitcher's card, and that's a chop ground out. Mark Lemke, five off the pitcher's card. He struck him out. Mike Devereaux, six off the pitcher's card, gets the walk. Jeff Blauser, seven off the batter's card, high fly out. Two outs for Marquise Grissom and a 10 off the batter's card, and that's a short single. So a daring runner, if I remember correctly, is going to be um, runners advance one base, two outs. Oh, if he was on second, it'd be a play at the plate. Brings up Chipper, two outs, two on, eight is a sharp ground out. Top of the third, a seven off the pitcher's card will take us to the gamble deck. And the gamble card says double on a misjudged shallow fly bar. A star left fielder or star third baseman makes the catch. And we do have a hard luck pitcher on the mound. Chipper is a one. Klesko is a zero. So that is a double into um, left field. Puts Johnny Evers on second base. No outs in the inning. That's a five. That's a sharp ground out. And a sharp ground out is first base vacant. Runners hold. A seven off the batter's card for Solly Hoffman. And it's a line fly out. I don't think anybody's going to be moving on that. Runners hold. Jimmy Slagle with a seven off the batter's card, high fly out. Bottom of the third, eight off the batter's card, and he's Fred McGriff strikes out. David Justice, gamble card. 
Bases empty. Hot smash down the line. Snagged by the first baseman. Flips to the pitcher covering first base for the out. Careless would be a single as the ball glances off the first baseman's glove and then throws the ball for an error. So we'll check the first baseman. The way I do this is uh, I give them a roll of a D6, and if it's equal to or less than their rating, in this case is a three plus a star, it gives him a four. So a four or less, and he'll be an alert fielder. And he is a two, so Frank Chance makes the play. He's a very good fielder. So that's a ground out. 3-3 three, three off the batter's card for Ryan Klesko. That's a single with a steal attempt. And he is fast, so that'll give him a 2 on the steal chart. Let's see what we need. So he has a single. The roll for the steal is a 5-5, five, five, and he's picked off. Pitcher zero throws wild and the runners would advance, but he's a one. So he does get a single, and then he is subsequently picked off, extra out. Brings us to the top of the fourth. It's a seven off the batter's card, high fly out for Jimmy Shepard. Frank Schalte with a four off the pitcher's card, and he struck him out. Frank Chance with a five. That's a single with a chance for a steal. And he is daring. That'll give him three. And let's go to, so we have the single. And roll for the steal. That is a nine, so he is safe. The single with a stolen base for Frank Chance. Two outs, runner on second for Harry Steinfeld. It's a five, and that's a sharp ground out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. An 11 off the pitcher's card for Javi is a chop ground out. 6-6, six, six, batter's card, pop fly double for Mark Lemke. And brings up Mike Devereaux with an 8, and he struck him out. Jeff Blauser with a 9 off the pitcher's card, and he grounds out. Top of the fifth, no score. And that's an 8 off the batter's card for Joe Tinker. Grounds out. Johnny Evers, double 6 off the pitcher's card, pop fly double. Puts him on second base. Brings up Johnny Kling, the catcher for the 1907 Cubs. 5-5. Five, five. That's a walk. First and second. Seven off the batter's card. That's a line fly out. Jimmy Slagle. Eight off the pitcher's card, and he grounds out to end the inning. Bottom of the fifth. And gamble card for Marquise Grissom. Walk. Faster daring batter moves to second on pass ball to uh, next batter. And he is daring, so that's a pass ball. It's a walk with a pass ball. So we'll put Grism on second base. Brings up Chipper Jones, five off the batter's card. He strikes him out. That's the first out of the inning. Seven, that'll be a gamble card with a runner on second. Short single to center field. Batter and runners take an extra base as center fielder falls down. A star two or star three center fielder makes a, uh, the fly out catch. This is an ace on the mound. So with runners on base, the center fielder will get the star that he does not have. But because we have an ace on the mound, he gets the star and it is a fly out. Got to love time travel baseball for these this fun factor stuff here. So we have two outs, David Justice up with a seven, and he flies out. Still scoreless. I, I skipped forward, but uh, Jimmy, all you missed was a Jimmy Shepard single. Now we have a six off the pitcher's card, and that is a strikeout. And brings up Frank Chance with a three, and that is a ground out. And a nine is a ground out off the pitcher's card. Four, four is a strikeout for Clesco. I've moved forward sliced slightly uh, into the sixth, bottom of the sixth. Uh, we had a, a strikeout 
Javi Lopez reached on an air by the shortstop, and Mark Lemke walked, so uh, and then a fly out by my Devereaux. Two outs. Uh, then we had this. It's a 4-4 off the pitcher's card, and I picked a card, a gamble card. Uh, it's a um, runner on second. Deep fly uh, sliced to opposite field. I'm supposed to pick an error card, and that is a talent card. Looking for the first error card that comes up. Here we go. Second base, double to left field, uh, batter out at second base, then ruled safe as shortstop error allows batter back into second base. A choke batter would be a pop out. Blazer is not a uh, choke batter. So it is a double, and we're going to bring two runners in. Actually, no. I don't know that that runner will get in. Other runner score, runner on first, play at the plate. So we have a play at the plate for Lemke. And he is uh, no speed at all. And the left fielder is daring. So... Uh, the daring for the left fielder will not matter. We're just going to use, unless Lemke's a heads-up runner, it's going to be a straight roll. Uh, he'll get a three on his roll, Jimmy Sheckert, for being a fielding three. And he is thrown out at the plate on my 2D six roll because Lemke is not fast or daring. So we have a double. Lemke is thrown out at the plate, and that'll end the inning, but the Braves did get one run. We go to the top of the seventh. It's an 11 off the batter's card, and that is a single, but a chance for a steal for Tinker. If I can bring up the right chart. I know it's in there. Why am I not seeing it? Here's the roll for the steal. It's a seven. We're going to roll, and the catcher, Javi, will get an extra two. And the runner, the batter, is daring, so he'll get an extra three. And he is safe. So that's a single and a stolen base for Joe Tinker. That's the tie and run on second base. We have a five on the batter's card, and that's a single. And a steal attempt, but does the runner on second score? Faster daring, uh, other runners score. Man on first moves to second, play at the third possibly, but other runners score. So that's a single, and Evers will get the RBI, but he's also going to steal. He's a daring runner. Bring up that elusive steal chart. Here's the roll, and it's a seven. So we're going to roll with his three against the catcher's two arm, or fielding, and he is safe. So he got the single. And the RBI and the stolen base puts Johnny Evers on second base with a six, and it's a strikeout. One out in the inning, 2-2 two, two off the pitcher's card, deep fly out. Runner on third scores, a daring runner at second, can try for third. And he is, but we'll leave him, we'll leave him stay put for right now. 1-1 one, one for Jimmy Slagle. That's a pop fly double. That'll score a run, put the Cubs ahead. 2-1. to one. And a 5 off the batter's card is a walk. A 6 off the pitcher's card, and he strikes him out. We go to the bottom of the 7th. A 6-6 six, six is a double. Uh, nope, off the pitcher's card. Fly out. Pitcher's card 9, ground out. Pitcher's card four, fly out. 11, and that is a walk for Frank Chance. And I'm afraid that's all the time I have. Uh, we are in the top of the eighth. Let me see if I can get us to the end of the game. Okay, so this one went into the 10th inning, tied two to two, and Harry Steinfeld got a single, uh, knocking in Frank Schulte. Frank Chance was thrown out at third. and uh, 
Carl Lundgren stayed in and got one, two, three, the bottom of the 10th, and the 1907 Cubs uh, defeat the 1995 Braves three to two. Thanks for watching.